Welcome to video number 12 about how to write a chess program in Go. This time it will be about the Go command, the UCI Go command. The Go command is the one that tells us to start thinking and reply with the best move. So we are getting closer, but it's still a long way to go. To go. That was funny. I have done some stuff since the last time, so let's start with that. I made the string method for castling. Basically, it's making fen string of our internal castling settings. I also made two new non-UCI commands, two new commands, but they are not UCI. Print board and print bit board. Print board is a method to board, not so much to look at, I think. I also have this uh, method print all bit board or all BB, and the, it print all the bit boards we have in the board structure. The print bit board is using the string method from string method to the bit boards that I also did. And if we look at that, we have the string method that just makes strings of zeros and one, and the string ln or string line cut up that string in rows, so we can see it's like a chessboard. So let's see them in action. We start go bit. Hello from UCI. UCI new game and print board PB. And as you can see there is the castling string and the board looks like this. And bit boards if we print PBB we can see the white pieces, the black pieces, white pawns, knights, bishops, rook, queen, king, and black pawns, and knights, and bishop, and rook, and queen, and king. Just a quick check on our to-dos. What should we do now? The last one. We have a first one for big boards. We should have the last one as well. These two commands are finished. We can remove that one. That to do. The one we should work with now is start up the go command. And it's here. I have prepared with all the sub commands to go. These cases are empty. We need to fill them with something useful. Uh, all these subcommands can be mixed in any order, even if it's completely stupid to mix, for instance, infinite with move time. We need to take care of that. My view of this is that all these are limiting. They are limiting the search, the, mo the search for best move. The one that ends the search first is the one that we will use. So let's define these. We can have a, a, a structure in in our engine. Dot go. Um, search limits. Struct. And here we have depth. It's an int. We have nodes. An int. We have move time, it's an int, and that's in milliseconds. Um, yes, nodes can be uh, quite a big number, so let's make that uh, unsigned int 64. And one more, infinite, and that is a bool. We can start with these four, it will be more later on. 
and we need a variable of type uh, search limits and some methods uh, search limits init is a good method to start with we will init with no limits at all I think that's the best one depth is 999 it will take a lifetime to reach that depth nodes can be the maximum uh, what's that name max unsigned in 64 it's there okay the highest number possible um, and move time we can have uh, nine 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 that is ten eleven nines and that should be one year no three year I think three years if you need more than that why not use infinite instead we will set this to false because well it should be true but infinite demands very special behavior about not receiving best move and things like that so we set it to false more methods let's copy from here and we can have set depth for instance set to D like this two methods that's enough for now the engine needs to have this command in order to start thinking but not yet um, tell the GUI info string I'm thinking and that's a big lie of course no thinking at this time okay we will have a new go file move dot go and package main and we will have two move two uh, types one is the move list move list struct and one is the move type that is unsigned in 64 and we have the let's call the move list for ml and we need to add we append moves to the move list the reason we need the move list is when we generate moves we need to put them somewhere uh, so let's start with the rook moves we generate rook moves and we can have gn rook moves preversion remove that side is side to move from bitboard is uh, all the rooks of a certain uh, of a certain color all the rooks p12 is the rook of this color maybe we should have a general gn from moves from this square no i mean from from a certain bit board yen from moves we should let's say it's a board board method we need the piece and the from uh it's something wrong up there it should be w b okay we need the piece the from bit board and a pointer to the move list 
and we can uh, write that here. The piece, it's an int, and from bitboard, it's a bitboard, and address to remove list. Let's call that ML. Okay, it can be empty until we know better. And we can fix some chess rules. So we can have directions, I think, as a const. Directions for rook. So we can go east, that is plus one. We can go west, minus one. We can go north, uh, is eight. We can go south, and that's minus eight. And southwest and now we're talking about the rook moves and the bishop moves and this is directions on the board so north is up to the black camp and south is down to the white camp and we have east and west as well southwest is the diagonal the bishops that should be Northwest is seven, northeast is nine, southwest is uh, minus northeast, and southeast is minus northwest. Yes, okay. We will have a roll tab, piece rolls, and it's number of pieces and the number of rolls. Uh, we explode pawns here because pawns are so strength. They have strength rules. Okay, we can init this roll tab. This roll tab. So we have piece rolls for rook. And we append east. Then we can append all the directions, west, north, and south. That's great. We start with rook moves only. I will just move the to do this one, thinking, into the engine where it's better placed. Now we are finished. Until next time, peace.